Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today, how to clean the filter on your lazy spa. Right, let's get cracking. Well, in a minute. You can of course replace it with a brand new filter but why not save some money and clean it. If your filter is dirty or blocked up you're likely to get an E02 error which basically means that you're not getting enough water flow through the filter and into the heater system. So to rectify this we're going to remove the filter, give it a good clean and then put it back in again. And the filter is inside this unit here. But before we remove that, it's very, very important to turn the lazy spa off at the mains. So just switch it off at the mains. Make sure you do that with dry fingers, of course. So the power is definitely off. Now to remove the filter mechanism, gently unscrew it anti-clockwise. Just keep going. There we go. So that is now removed. And the filter is inside this housing. So let's just put this on a table. Just going to flip it upside down. You've just got this locking nut screw mechanism here. So unscrew that anti-clockwise. Remove that. Now flip it back over. And just remove this lid. It literally just pulls away upwards. It's quite tricky filming with one hand and doing it with the other hand. And there is the filter and you can see how dirty it is compared with a brand new one which is sitting next to it on the table. But instead of replacing it with a brand new one we're just going to give this one a bit of a clean. Now I'm just going to start with my wife's toothbrush and just giving it a good clean with some hot soapy water just to get rid of any grit and any dirt. Lurgs, have you been using my toothbrush to clean the lazy spa filter now? And there's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC window frames so they stay clean. This is about as good as I'm going to get it using my wife's toothbrush. Lux. What I'm going to do now is open up the dishwasher. If you've got a dishwasher, this is a brilliant tip. I'm just going to lay the Lazy Spa filter in the top tray. I'm going to make sure it lines up with the spray jets on the upper arm here. So the spray jets go directly up inside. Put that upper tray back in. Load my dishwasher tablet. Close the dishwasher. And just set it on a normal washing program of 65 degrees. Obviously you won't be able to do this forever on a filter. It will just degrade over time. But if it's fairly new, this is a really good solution for giving it a good clean. And this is two hours later. Let's open up the dishwasher and that is looking absolutely fantastic. Okay, it's not as good as a brand new filter, but that's looking really good to go straight back in the Lazy Spa. Right, let's get it back in. So just put it back into the filter unit housing. Put the lid back on. Just push that down so it's nice and tight. Then take your locking screw nut mechanism, flip it back over. And just screw this in clockwise until it's nice and tight. Now that is ready to go back into the lazy spa. Now make sure when you're screwing this in clockwise, it's on the bottom unit there, that it goes on nice and easily. If it doesn't feel like it's going on easily, stop and take it off and put it back on again. This should be very, very easily and it should turn nice and simple. You do not want to damage those threads because they're plastic threads and if you damage them, that is going to be a world of pain. So that is now locked in. What we do now is go back inside, turn it back on at the mains with your dry hands, push this switch to turn the lazy spa on. You get that red LED light. Daisy's ready. I'm now back in the spa. I'm just going to hold the on off switch on. Just to turn it back on, I'm going to put the heating on, turn it up to 38. You can feel the hot water coming out of there already. And now it's time for bubbles. Oh yes, bubbles. Oh, and a cup of tea. Bubbles and a cup of tea. Perfect. And there's someone else who wants to get in the spa, but they're not allowed because you'll probably burst it. 
If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here if you don't want to miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edge of the screen. If any of those useful to you, you can select those now.